do we have here? Well, Bob, you know, today was a great day. We did a video on pen Twinkie penetration tests, and then we also did a film on uh, PBR penetration tests. That's and right. that's why we're smoking cigars, <laughs> because it was a Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, and Firearms special. And we're going to conclude that with what, Bob? The explosives part of the B-A-T-F-E. That's right. So, so yeah. concealed in this giant golden mound of sweet, sticky goodness, folks, is a pound of tannerite. Yeah, so uh, this should make for some uh, good uh, eating later. Well, it should, it should for the critters and, uh, and uh, all the creatures and the coyotes and whatever. We're going to set up trail cameras so we can document that too. Right. But we had all these Twinkies and we had some tannerite and by golly, we're going to blow it up so you guys can watch it. Thanks to JC. And Eli, as always, for building this fine castle of Twinkies. That's right. Let's uh, let's put all their work uh, in the air. Let's blow it up. All right. All right. No, nope, not there. Wasn't that spot. It's hard to shoot, Bob. It's hard to shoot uh, a target you can't see for sure. It's kind of buried inside it. I see lots of tweaky goo <laughs> blowing up the back side, Bob. Yeah. Well, we're going to get some more ammo. I'll try this again. Well, folks, we looked at it and uh, we found out that we actually hit the jug of tannerite like all three times we saw the dust blowing out the back we thought it was twinkie goo no it was a tannerite and then we realized that if you read the directions on the tannerite it says that it needs a high velocity round well we were running optimized sled spread silent sledgehammers which only go at 1050 feet per second which isn't fast enough to ignite the tannerite so we just ended up with a pyramid of Twinkies with a spilled bunch of Tannerite dust behind it. So we're mixing up a new container and we're getting some uh, supersonic uh, 300 blackout and then uh, we're going to blow this thing up. All right, folks, we have switched to uh, supersonic 115 grain factory ammo for this little conclusion. Should make a little bit more of a muzzle crack, but hopefully we won't hear it over the explosion of the tannerite. And here goes. Twinkies everywhere. <laughs> oh my.
Oh. I don't see any Twinkie I can eat. This is a problem. The ones on top move out. Wow. Destroyed the table. Twinkie destruction. Oh, I like that. <laughs> you know, I, I thought, you know, blowing up pumpkins and watermelons was fun. I think that blowing up Twinkies was a whole lot more fun. You know, Twinkies, I think, have that built-in foam resilience, which allows them to absorb the impact a little bit and then blast off in chunks. We are we're surrounded by Twinkie scatter. The crows are going to be Almost as fat as I am uh, here pretty soon. That is, that's just awesome, Bob. I mean, we even had it, there was, there was splatter, uh, the creamy goodness over on the rig out past the shooting shack. Uh, that was, that was awesome. We obliterated some Twinkies. I, we have a circle. I, it's got to be a hundred yards. I mean, I'm just looking, I can see Twinkies up in the trees up yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, down there, you know. Back, you know, 75 yards back at the uh, the element. You know, here, Bob, uh, all over the all over the tripod right here. There's this was this uh, GoPro was pretty close to the Twinkies, and it is it's got a good Twinkie goo. I, I'm going to make a recommendation right now. If you do blow up Twinkies and plan to eat them later, don't do it. You, you can taste the tannerite in them. <laughs> yeah, it's probably a bad idea. And I'm on a diet, Mom, well, so I wouldn't eat them anyway. <laughs> Okay, well, maybe I would. <laughs> Put your comments in, uh, in the section below. Go ahead and log in and give us your comments. Let us know what you think. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks for watching. And ladies. Good times. Let's clean this mess up. Gemma? <laughs> <laughs>